Even though our modern world is full of noise, the Stoics taught us something that will always be useful, how to keep holy silence. Join us as we look at how Stoics deal with the most private parts of life. As we talk about the road of inner power and discretion, you'll learn the 10 things you should never tell anyone and why the Stoics kept these secrets close to their hearts. In a world where talking too much is the rule, the Stoics were different because they believed in the power of silence. Let's look at what they taught and find out how keeping these 10 secrets can help you live a life that is always honest and strong. Number one, what you're most afraid of. Imagine that your worst fears were out in the open for everyone to see. The Stoics know that telling other people about your fears could make you less strong and determined. If you tell other people about your darkest fears, you might lose some of your inner strength. While admitting your fears may make you feel better in the short term, it can also make you less determined to face and overcome them. The Stoics thought that true strength came from facing your fears head-on in your own thoughts, without needing outside support or comfort. When you talk about your fears, you let other people in. Advice or support from people who mean well can come in, but it can also accidentally plant seeds of doubt or worry. The Stoics valued self-reliance and thought that the only way to get rid of fear was to keep working on personal growth. No one else can get in the way. Number two is your highest goals. Imagine sharing your biggest dreams with a world that is often quick to laugh at or criticize them. The way the Stoics did things set them apart. They thought it was best to work on these goals in quiet, with unwavering determination, and let their deeds, not their words, show what they wanted. The Stoics knew that silence was powerful and that talking about your highest goals too soon could make people question them or even make fun of them. Instead, they pushed for these goals in a quiet way, like caring for a plant under the soil's surface so that they could grow and get stronger without being watched by others. Stoicism is based on the idea that deeds are more important than words. Instead of telling everyone what they wanted, Stoics focused on taking thoughtful, purposeful steps toward their goals. They thought that constant, determined effort not only showed how committed they were, but also made a bigger difference than just talking. Number three, how much money you have. Looking at how the Stoics think about keeping your money safe, picture the following. You might be tempted to talk about your money either to show off how rich you are or to get sympathy for your financial troubles. But the Stoics have a different way of thinking. The value of caution is at the heart of Stoicism. The Stoics knew that talking about your money in public could make people jealous, judge you, or even take advantage of you. Instead, they chose to be quiet and keep their business matters private. The Stoics thought that controlled moral behavior was the best way to slowly build up wealth. They didn't feel like they had to constantly show off their wealth or constantly look for approval from others. Instead, they let their continued hard work and financial successes show their success over time. Personal problems are the fourth point. Imagine a situation in which you feel like you have to tell other people about your personal problems in order to get support, sympathy, or even help. But the Stoics had a different way of looking at things. Stoicism stresses the importance of self-reliance and taking responsibility for yourself. The Stoics thought that telling everyone about your problems could make you less self-reliant and make it harder to solve problems on your own. Stoicism pushes people to try to solve problems in a calm and sensible way. The Stoics believed that people could talk things out and find answers without having to air their problems in public. This method led to more meaningful and long-lasting decisions. When people talk about their personal problems in public, feelings and outside views often get mixed up. The Stoics knew that this could make it harder to solve problems and sometimes make them worse. Kindness is number five. 
Imagine that your good deeds are being shouted about for everyone to hear. Now, compare that to the Stoic way of thinking. Stoicism is based on the value of not caring about yourself. The Stoics thought that real acts of kindness should come from a true desire to help others, not from a desire for praise or recognition. The Stoics did good things for people without wanting praise or credit. They helped people in need without wanting to be noticed. They knew that the real good in what they did was in the fact that it wasn't for themselves. When people talk about their good deeds, it can sometimes feed their egos and their need for approval. The Stoics knew that trying to get praise for doing good things could make the good intentions behind those actions less pure. Family fights are number six. Imagine putting your family's problems out there for the whole world to see and judge. Stoicism understands that family problems are a normal part of life, but it also stresses how important it is to keep the peace within the family. Talking about these problems in front of other people can sometimes make the situation worse and make relationships even more tense. This can also cause unneeded drama and make things worse. Stoics thought that talking about these problems in private, away from outside pressures, led to more reasonable and effective solutions. When family fights happened, Stoics looked for ways to make things better. Instead of sharing their complaints in public, they tried to find common ground settle disagreements, and work toward peace. Your mental journey is number seven. Imagine putting your religious or philosophical views out there for everyone to see and judge. Stoicism understood that a person's spiritual or intellectual views were very important to them and often formed the basis of who they were as a person. They thought that people should act and make decisions based on these beliefs. When you talk about your spiritual or intellectual ideas in public, people with different views may look at them more closely, criticize them, or even start a fight with you. Stoics knew that these kinds of fights could be hard on their feelings and take their minds off of their inner journey toward virtue. Stoics valued modesty and an open mind because they knew that their ideas about faith or philosophy could change over time. They didn't make any rigid statements and were open to new ideas and points of view. Stoics knew that each person's spiritual and intellectual journey was different and that there was no one-size-fits-all solution. By keeping their ideas secret, they kept from forcing them on other people. Personal sacrifices is the eighth point. Imagine telling everyone in the world about your sacrifices in great detail hoping to get their approval or respect. Stoics thought that personal sacrifices had value in and of themselves. They thought that making sacrifices was important. Sacrificing itself was seen as a good and useful thing to do, whether it was for personal growth or for the greater good. Stoics believed in being humble and found satisfaction in knowing that the sacrifices they made were done with honor and virtue, they didn't want praise from other people. Instead, they were happy with themselves because they knew they had done what they thought was right. Number nine, struggles inside. Imagine telling the whole world about your deepest problems and leaving yourself open to being taken advantage of or misunderstood. Stoicism recognizes that people will always have problems with themselves and that life is full of complicated problems. These fights may involve emotional turmoil, moral problems, or the inner struggles of a person. Stoics knew that these kinds of inner disputes were a natural part of being human. Instead of letting others judge their inner turmoil, Stoics went on a journey of self-discovery from the inside out. They did a lot of deep self-reflection and meditation digging deep into the maze-like passageways of their minds to figure out where their problems came from. This journey inward gave them new ideas and ways to find answers. They were wary of asking for pity or support from other people. 
They knew that letting people know about their inner turmoil could lead to well-meaning but ultimately useless statements of sympathy. Stoics chose to solve problems on their own while keeping their pride. Number 10. Times when you were proud. Imagine being tempted to talk about your accomplishments in public, which could drive a gap between you and other people. Stoicism puts humility on a high perch as one of the most important virtues. Stoics knew very well that too much pride or ego could damage a person's character. They thought that true knowledge meant recognizing that external successes are temporary, but they didn't refuse to be recognized for them. Instead, they did so with a sense of modesty. They knew that these victories wouldn't last forever, which gave them motivation to keep trying to be good. When people talk about their accomplishments, it often makes them feel proud of themselves and hungry for approval from others. Stoics saw this as a possible trap that could keep them from working on themselves from the inside out. As we come to the end of our look at the Stoic way of keeping holy silence, it's important to remember that caution is not about keeping things secret, it's about building inner strength and being true to yourself. By taking care of these 10 parts of your life, you are following the Stoic concept of being strong and wise. If you dare to be Stoic, you'll find that your real strength isn't in what you show the world, but in what you keep secret from everyone else. If you've learned something from these Stoic lessons, sign up for more wisdom and inspiration. We'd love for you to join us on this trip as we look for ways to be strong inside and true to ourselves. We're glad you're part of our group.